What's up, race team? I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. It's your boy Flacco. Today, we're going to show you our premium front end kit for the Trailmaster MB200 or Trailmaster Hurricane. All right, starting over here, we have the Billet Triples. These are machined out of a solid block of aluminum. Here we have our hollow, lightweight neck bolt and the nut. This is our axle with the necessary washers. You get the hydraulic brake kit that is exclusively for this front end. These are the bearing races and then the bearings that go in the triples. Then you got your heavy duty front forks, eight inch rim, equipped with your heavy duty and very, very, very nice and clean brake discs. Yes, we're gonna get this one torn down and then show you a complete install of this whole kit. All right, we got this bike torn apart. This is Jason's MB200 that we took to the Rockies with us. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is clean these up. We're gonna make sure there's no rust on these existing neck races. The beauty of this kit, you just keep these originals in there. You don't have to hammer them out. So we're gonna clean those up, get grease in there, pack the bearings with grease, and then we'll start putting the billet triples on. So these are the bearings that you'll receive in the kit. They're actually the exact same as the stock ones. So keep your stock ones handy um, if they still look really good, you might even just use those and then keep these as a backup. You want all of these covered in grease. You want to roll the little ball bearings around, make sure they're completely covered. And you're also going to go ahead and work grease into the race. Okay, if you look at these billet triples, there is a top and a bottom. The bottom of each is machined out to save weight. Your top one is just gonna be flat up here. The bottom one is gonna have the recess for your race. So you put one race in there, then a race in there. This is the top triple. I have it flipped upside down. Put your neck bolt in. We're gonna go ahead and put this bearing in the top. This is the flatter side and it's going to go down. We have wrenches and sockets for these, but most people in their home garage don't have a wrench or a socket big enough for this stuff. So if you just have two adjustable wrenches, they will work out. Uh, next up, we're gonna pop out these stainless steel Allen bolts and slide the fork tubes in. Now, instead of just loosening those up and wiggling the forks up through, we like to remove them completely because then you can just lay your fork in there like that and you're not gonna get any scratches up and down your fork tube. Now, if you look at these, they are machined the same OD all the way down. So you can really adjust the, your front end height. You can go I usually, actually that's like perfect. That's usually about where I like to run them. You can lower these, you know, all the way down. You can bring them way up here. You have a lot of adjustability with these, with this front end. 
Careful there. <laughs> We're gonna measure this first one that we put in and then match the other one exactly to it. So that's one inch, 300 thousandths. Next step up, we're going to hang the front wheel. And remember to put your brake disc on the same side with the yep. brake caliper mountain hose. So in your kit, you're going to get washers. One washer goes on this side with the bolt head. And then you're going to get five of these little shims. Sometimes you need four, sometimes you need five. We're going to put two on this side. On this side, due to small differences in the wheel width and how far your brake bolts stick out, sometimes you need two, sometimes you need three. On this particular one, we need three of these washers. So you stack them up, turn this out some, and work it back in. That's it. So we send extra washers. These axle bolts are threaded different lengths, just depending on exactly what axle bolt you get. So this one, we need all three. And this axle bolt is going to be a 17 mil on the bolt head. 19 mil over here on the nut. Let's back off a tad. Perfect. So you will obviously want to run a front tire on this. This kit does not come with a front tire. You can add that to your order. We have tons of options. But we're, what we're gonna show you in a minute, we're gonna take Jason's old front tire and slap it on this wheel. This way you get a really good visual of how this goes together and you're able to see everything. Ready? We're gonna go ahead next to proceed to install our brake caliper and our brake lever. Um, first, you wanna make sure that you remove the plastic inserts. What that's doing is causing pressure on your caliper so that it holds in your plastic insert that keeps your brake, your brake pad spread apart. Once you get those removed, you'll be okay to go ahead and slide your brake caliper over your disc. We got this whole premium front end on here. We got the wheel back off of the bike. To mount this, we're gonna use our vise. We're not gonna use a tire machine. We're gonna show you how easy it is to slap a tire on these. To do that, we're gonna take this disc off and then we'll get it mounted in the vise and slap the tire on it. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get our mount, uh, tire mounted on our new uh, MB200 rim. First thing we're gonna do is get our tire lubed up. Just makes it easier to get it over the rim initially. I'm just using soap, hand soap. Yeah, that foaming soap works yeah. really good. It lasts. When we're building tires at the warehouse for customers, we use slip tack. But when we're doing it here, just at the shop, we just use this foaming soap and it works great. Right now we're installing our front wheel setup back to our MB200. So we're gonna put the stock MB200 risers back on here. This bolt you will have to replace. 
it's a little too short to get all the way through the billet uh, triples. So a 3 8 bolt you can pick up from any hardware store. We'll go right in there and fits like a glove. And I like to leave these a hair loose until we get the handlebars on there and then we'll snug them up. All right, this is a front fender bracket that is going to be an add-on from our website that you can put on these premium front ends. Really, this will be a good fender bracket for a bunch of different applications. This one's specifically designed for the premium front end. It's got one bend back here that'll shape to the curvature of your fender and then spacers that will give you perfect height. We got the premium front end put on this MB200. This premium front end kit comes with the billet triples, super heavy duty forks. It's really a great kit. You've got a huge brake disc up front, plenty of stop and power, and it's really easy to operate. Uh, this fits on the MB200. It also fits on the Trailmaster Hurricane. Right. Also, if you have a Baja Warrior, a lot of those bikes came with the same neck bearings that the Trailmaster comes with. So you could also put these on there. Hopefully you guys like this kit. It's been years in development and it's been to a bunch of different races. It has conquered the mountains. It's done tons of off-road riding. Yeah. We know it holds up to a bunch of abuse. So let us know what you think, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. I live in YouTube.